Hello everybody, uh, my name is JK, well there are my initials anyway, and I've decided to start a painting channel on YouTube called Painting From Scratch. Uh, painting From Scratch, well, scratch in the UK for anybody not familiar with the term, means you are literally starting with no experience, so you're starting from scratch. Uh, I do have one experience of painting, as about a month ago. I attempted to start painting, but unfortunately due to health concerns I only got the one painting done and then had to stop due to problems with my bones and my, my fingers and my wrists and that. Uh, I have followed a channel called The Art of John McGee I think, and in it, uh, that video he showed you how to paint some trees. Like it's just these four bits of trees, and so I tried to follow along with that. But as I've, I've never painted for since I was at school, or drawn anything since I was at school about 30 years ago, uh, as you can see, it wasn't the best. To be honest, I was a bit disheartened with it. But my other half, uh, she thought it wasn't too bad, so that gave me a bit of encouragement. But I had to put a stop to it until I got into new medication. I could attempt to restart. So yeah, so I say painting from scratch. I suppose I'm painting from scratch. I've already done this, but yeah, okay. So how was that? So why did I want to teach myself to paint? Well, when I grew up, we always had paintings on the wall, mainly landscapes. In fact, yeah, pretty much all landscapes. I've always admired paintings and thought it was a great talent when I see people painting. And due to COVID. We've all been locked in the house this last 18 months. I've watched a lot of painting videos and due to health concerns, I'm not going to be able to do the stuff I used to be able to do before, like biking or fishing. And that was one of my inspirations for painting as well, fishing. When I used to go fishing, I used to go fishing, like see amazing sunsets, amazing sunrises, beautiful scenery. So I was always inspired. I always felt at one point or another I would get around and teach myself how to paint. Uh, and obviously circumstances, health and Covid uh, sped that up. So, yeah, so that's why I've decided to start a painting channel. Uh, right, what next? Next, materials. So what materials do I have? Okay, I have, I bought these. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure where the box went, but these are Dale around me. Uh, system free a crack. Now I bought these because I seen a crack in review on YouTube and somebody was saying that they were just as good as some of the more expensive paints and they only cost £24. So yeah, I bought these and in the set is burnt umber, yellow ochre, cadmium red hue, sap green, titanium white, mars black, Ultramarine, ultramarine, <laughs> easy for you to say. Ultramarine blue and cadmium yellow, and I think that says hue as well. Yeah, so that's my paints. Okay, I got the paints. Excellent. Uh, oh, I also bought this. Now, this was a mistake. This is called Feel th Blue, but I thought it was going to be painting a lot of skies. It's obviously a landscape, a lot of blue, but it turns out that phthalo blue is a colour that would mainly be used within seas. It's more, I think, a greeny blue, and I probably should have got another colour called cerulean blue. So, who knows? So, I've got a lot of it. <laughs> uh, who knows how it will get used? But, okay, so that's my paints. Uh, paint brushes. Right. Now, when I've been watching the people on YouTube, particularly when they're painting trees, they seem to do like a stippling effect. And so I bought this natural bristle oil set. Uh, and I, I, got, I think I got 10 brushes. Now these were normally 10 pound to buy. These are Dela Rungi as well. And they're on sale for a fiver. So I could have bought a single brush for the stippling. But here we go, I've got 10 brushes. I mean, a fiver. <laughs> so, 
I've also got these, which are Dale and Rodney again. This will be okay. And these are a synthetic brush. Uh, it's, I think it's a 10 pack. And in it, there's, that's a rigger, I think. There's a tiny wee fan brush. Very, uh, very fragile. Uh, like me. <laughs> and so, yeah, I've got these as well. And they're synthetic, like I say. I also bought this here as a blending brush. Now, I bought this because i seen a guy's YouTube channel, what is his name? Felix, painting with Felix, and in it he shows you how he blends acrylics. And he was using brushes like this. This is Dale O'Rony again, of course. <laughs> uh, a graduate. And it's an overwash one inch. Well, it's bigger one inch to me, but it says one inch. So, I got that. I also bought a fan brush. Now, the reason I bought the fan brush is because I've seen this guy's uh, channel, I think it's called YNV Art or something, and in it, he uses a fan brush all the time, and he uses acrylic. And I've also seen another guy's YouTube channel called Michael James, Michael James Smith, and in it, he uses this fan brush to paint trees, well not this fan brush, but he uses a fan brush by uh, sort of stippling on. Now, I know that it's oil painting, but you did see in these videos that you'd be able to get the same effect with acrylics. Well, who knows, but I will certainly give it a try and stick with this, of course. Yeah, okay, so that is my paint brushes. So paint brushes and paint. So what am I going to paint on? Well, like I said earlier, I painted this. This was just on lining paper. Old lining paper that I had in my cupboard from when I uh, lined my hall, hallway, years ago. Uh, and I know people paint on canvas, but obviously I've no experience painting, so it would just be a waste of canvas. And to be honest, I can't afford canvases anyway, so... <laughs> uh, so how I'm going to do this, so I bought this lining paper and I have some acrylic white paint uh, in a bucket that I used for painting the ceilings. And so I will lay this out and use my acrylic white paint and hopefully that will uh, stop the paint getting soaked up so much. Because I noticed when I'd done this about a month ago or whatever, the paint was getting soaked up by it straight away. Because obviously I suppose it's quite so porous. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to be painting on for the foreseeable future. Eventually I will buy a canvas, but I mean, it's not like I'm going to be able to hang anything on the wall. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to keep any of this. And so canvases will just be too much money, and, uh, and that's that really. Yeah. Also, I bought, I went, I joined a forum called Wet Canvas, I think it was called. And in that forum, I had a section for beginners. And uh, uh, the common thinking was, if you're going to paint, you, you have an advantage if you could draw. Now, I've not drawn or painted, like I say, since school, about 30 years ago, since I was in primary, actually, I think. But if you're going to learn how to paint, then apparently drawing, being able to draw is a good advantage as well. And also, I've seen a lot of things on people's YouTube channels about perspective, particularly in landscapes. So I bought this, I managed to pick these up for a little fibre. Uh, I got this budget pad, which I imagine would be good for learning how to do perspective and just learning how to teach myself to draw on basic, uh, uh, very basics. I do have a drawing pad somewhere, but there's no point in wasting a drawing pad when I don't even really know how to draw. Uh, I did draw at school, like you see, it wasn't too bad I suppose. But that was a long one, I'm talking decades ago now. So, yeah. So I got that up and I bought a ruler as well, just to make sure I keep everything on the straight, the straight and narrow. A shatter proof one at that. Yeah, so that's what I've got so far. This is what I've got to start painting. Uh, so, what we're going to do next, or well, what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to use this line of paper here and I'm going to draw myself a colour wheel because I followed that channel in uh, 
I did that initial painting with the trees I showed you but I didn't even know how to mix colours I mean I know I remember from school like black and white makes grey um, yellow and blue make green uh, red and white make pink no red and orange make pink so I really need to teach myself the fundamental the basics and I see people talking about hue tone and values so I'll need to learn about that as well that all seems a bit yeah but I will certainly teach myself that so that's what I'm going to be doing probably in the next hour or so I'm going to draw myself a colour wheel look at a couple of YouTube channels uh, give it a coat of white paint this year and then get to it and get some experience mixing colours uh, and so what we're going to do in the future well I'll we'll go along with this well if anybody's got any tips for what I should do what I should do next what channels to really follow to get some basics and fundamentals in then please put them in the comments and I'll certainly look at them mm. I'll also say I'll probably need to improve my audio I'll probably I've, as you can probably hear I have a very thick Scots accent so I'll probably need to speak more concise as well I'll need to check the audio on this I'm not sure I've bought a Rhodes mic so I'm not sure I'll, when I look back on this video I'll be able to see how it's been picked up maybe I could use some sort of software to make sure it's not picking up uh, other ambient noise about me uh, a lighting, the only lighting I have is a light right above the, mo the mobile phone which I'm recording this on and that's just a, a normal ceiling light so I will try and get some better lighting, even better lighting for myself, not just for the viewers of course, uh, so I can see things better as well. So yeah, so that's about it. If anybody's managed to watch with this gobbledygook, this mum would jumbo so far, then thanks very much. And uh, until next time, to the next video upload, JK out. Bye for now.